Hi, in this slide I want to help uh, uh, break out uh, generic definitions of uh, service excellence. In other words, what are the specific elements or, or metrics that go into service? Clearly, it varies by niche. And there are two subcategories. There are measurable standards, and by measurable, and they're universals. All distribution exists to break break down large quantities, reassort, and ship out. It's hub economics and foundational, that is, fill rates. I am calling a distributor because I need two, three, four items, typically very quickly, to get something done. So it's not only the availability, but it's the, it's, it's the, it's the, it's the, the, the quick time, value of time. Uh, assuming that I have the stuff, then I want to execute perfectly. Think about chronologically. If I'd say, well, hey, we have zero errors on time delivery. We could get it there in a fraction, da, 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 but I don't have it today. It's an, it's an empty promise. So fill rates is foundational. Then we need to have perfect service before we worry about speed, on time delivery, because if we get it there on time quickly and it's the wrong stuff or damaged or whatever that's thrown out. Next, we want to get it there on time. Now, the speed, the response time can vary. So, for example, um, you know, in the old days when I was in the printing paper business in big cities, printers would call in the morning and say, I've got a customer who wants a job done yesterday. Could you deliver the paper I need this afternoon? So, you called the AM, you got to deliver in the PM. Called in the PM, you got to deliver in the AM. Um, if I were dealing with uh, in the contracting trades, typically if they call in the afternoon, they expect next morning pickup or next morning delivery uh, if they need it to go do jobs. Uh, if uh, it's somebody who's coming to my counter, they may say, I want to call 15 minutes in advance to confirm that you have what I need, place the order, and then I want to come down there. So in 15 minutes, it better be ready, and I want to get in and out in five minutes or less because time is money. So that would be peculiar to those kinds of, of quirks. It could be an industrial uh, environment, MRO, and they've got a skid of toilet paper, and they're getting about to, you know, last few cases, and they want they call up and order their skid, and if they get it within a week's time, that's fine. They're not they're not living hand to mouth or have odd jobs at a you know, cost of of downtime that they've got to take care of for customers. Um, all customers, if we mess up want fast, clean, you know, s cures. And ideally, if we can pay them in some way for the cost of the downtime, they, they called to get perfect service. We didn't give them perfect service. It's going to cost them lost time, extra paperwork for the credits and so forth. How do we compensate them for that is a question that we should ask, and that goes into what are called heroic recoveries. Now, beyond that, you're going to find uh, in each niche peculiar quirks, and I'll give you some examples of that later on. Now, that's measurable, but then we have this phenomenon of called service encounters. And it turns out that not all human beings have very high so social emotional IQs and are very sensitive to and can read those cues. So a customer ideally wants to do business with somebody who really genuinely is glad they called. So have extroverts that are empathetic. They want to have get answers to their questions. Even if somebody says, gee, you know, I'm sorry, I don't know, but watch how, how fast and quick I hustle to get an answer and get back to you because I love you. So quick, cheerful, I don't know, but I'll get back to you is, you know, actually more effective than, well, I'm a technical genius and I'm sort of amazed you don't know that. So let me shame you and then I'll, 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 I'll give you the break of your life and let you know what the answer is. I mean, there are people who are very smug about, you know, being technical nerds and sort of lording it over the customer. And so obviously it doesn't cut it. Um, other aspects are to realize that, oh, as I'm talking to this customer, I realize there's some emotion in their voice. There's a problem. Uh, what's the real problem? Is there something extra I can do or something flexible I can do to take care of that problem and then you know oh yeah there is but it's an extra effort I got to stay late I got to get people to twist some arms to make some things happen these are heroic acts or cures for the customer screw up or problem that that um, we should invest in if they've if, if they're a very profitable customer they have a very high net present profitability potential another top five core accounts top five you know target accounts and to a certain degree we have to realize right very quickly is this the kind of customer where when I do something extra for them they're going to appreciate it and I'm going to bank measurable goodwill brownie points with them and we'll talk later in another slide about you know gift exchanges and and um, 
and uh, and up what I call upfront contracting. Like, sure, we'll do all that, but I have to understand upfront that in exchange you'll do something for me down the road, or I can charge a higher price. Whatever you want to do, kind of thing. So we'll come back to that. But the the the, pr the problem here is we've really got to get social emotional IQ aces to make this happen. So we can mechanically give perfect service, but we're not going to get a real pop for it unless we have social emotional IQ in place for the service encounters. Um, so that's it for this slide. We'll carry on with some more service stuff in the next one. Thank you.